Hello guys, and welcome to a new video. You have asked, and you shall receive. So I thought that I'd give it a shot today. And it's basically four steps. First step, clutch it up. Second step, controlling the height of the wheelie. Third step is learning the rear brake. And the fourth and final step is the balance point. So the first step is clutch ups. There's three things to consider. You sit in position. Sit back a little bit on the saddle. Have your arms almost stretched out, but leave a little bit of wiggle room so you can turn the handlebars. The second thing to consider is your speed. You should pick a speed where you always start out when doing the wheeling. For me, who's on a KDM 690, I run in the second gear, ride about 30 to 40 kilometers an hour. The third thing to consider is that you always need more throttle. In the beginning, you'll give it just not enough throttle. So, in the beginning, it will probably look like this. Do that until it progressively gets better. So when you're able to clutch it up consistently, you're ready for the second step. And the second step is controlling the height of the wheel. And you'll do this by using the throttle. So, what you should do is get to a comfortable height and then use the throttle to lower or raise the front wheel. But you should always stay way below balance point. As a good measurement, you should always keep the bars way under the horizon. So there's one thing you can do to make this a little bit more easier. And that is to use the bike to get the front wheel up a little bit quicker and more consistently. You do this by compressing the forks just before you clutch it up. What you should do is actually brake. Or at least closing the throttle to compress the forks. It will look something like this. So when you're comfortable controlling the height of the wheelie, you should start practicing the rear brake. So, how to learn the rear brake is by using the rear brake. So, while in a wheelie, you use the rear brake to bring the front wheel down. And since your brain is used to closing the throttle to bring the front wheel down, you will have to force yourself to use the rear brake. And you do this by maintaining a steady throttle or even an increasing throttle when applying more rear brake. It sounds weird, but it actually works. So what you would do is clutch it up, increase the height of the wheelie while pressing on down on the rear brake, bringing the front wheel down. Watch my hand. I don't close the throttle, I even increase the throttle a little bit, but I'm pressing down on the rear brake to bring the wheelie down. So when you're comfortable using the rear brake while in a wheelie, the next step is actually going for balance point. And doing this, you can do it two ways. Either you tap the rear brake, or you drag the rear brake. And the difference between these two is tapping the rear brake saves you a set of brake pads. It's the more hardcore way, and it's the more exciting way. Dragging the rear brake on the other hand will cost you a set of brake pads, because you constantly will be on the brake, but it will be way more controlled. And since you're on the brake already when hitting the balance point, you probably won't be as scared. So during the whole wheelie, you will be on the brake. Controlling the height of the wheelie will both 
the throttle and the brake. So you would, to bring the wheel up, you would give more throttle. To bring the wheel down, you would use the rear brake, not closing the throttle. So to hit balance point, you need to gradually increase the height of the wheelie. And while dragging the rear brake, you give it increasing more gas 